Destroy, Lonely, and Lucky are beefing. And as my time as being a Lucky fan, I have never seen this nigga really get into no beefs other than Baby Smooth. But that really wasn't no beef. That re that really wasn't no beef. Eh, it kind of was. Eh, them niggas just not cool, bro. I wish they was. I wish they was, bro. Oh, my God. A Baby Smooth and Lucky song with Fee families, nigga. We already rappers. It's not like y'all paint y'all nails and wear dresses sometimes. Oh. How do you want to be a street now. We have to talk about what caused this, okay? We gotta go back at least a month ago, all right? Okay. Or about two months, if I'm not mistaken. I know a lot of y'all didn't forgot, but Lone did something to his girlfriend, allegedly, right? But throughout that whole situation, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he not only found out that he did something to his female, allegedly, but he also was jealous of his girl liking other rappers while he was with her. And one of those guys. I forgot about that shit. I forgot. Nigga, that's why? I thought this was about some shit from some years ago. Nigga, that's why? that his girlfriend was supposedly very close to was lucky you can find screenshots of lucky liking her pictures there's also a video oh, of them shit. together in the studio vlogging together and all types of stuff so surprisingly this information got out there because not only did the girl expose it but you had tons of fans noticing that lucky was really with lone girlfriend that whole time and i'm not even sure how the fans even thought of this but over time they found out that lucky was supposedly talking about lone in one of his songs basically signifying that he took this dude Hello. girl Hold on, hold on, hold on, nigga, hold on, nigga. Let me read this masterpiece, nigga. Hold on, stop. Let me read this. I give you the swag from your dad. You hope I don't notice, but it got a tag. He richer than me, a fact. I hit her first, so he probably met. You making your city look bad. I hit a Rolls Royce hoe in a track mad about it and you can just tell yeah we know who he's talking about all i'm trying to tell y'all is that this isn't new okay lucky and lone been having a situation but they never came out on the media to address each other until today because for some reason right lone decided to preview a snippet of I him to say i didn't surpass my favorite rappers guess i'm lucky that shit was playing as fucking day my <laughs> Dissing Lucky, all right? And we're gonna check this out. This shit ain't even right. <laughs> Shit, he nigga. said, I done surpassed my favorite rappers. Guess I'm lucky. Not even like two hours or an hour went by. Lucky immediately responded and he hopped on his IG live and he was just going off. He definitely had something to say, so we're gonna go ahead and check this out too. I'm talented, bro. Like, be rappers. You niggas be the first thing I told you. Like when we first talked, I said, Why y'all wanna be street niggas so bad? Mm. I'm like, I said that, like, we already rappers. It's not like, like, we're already documented rappers. Why do you. Y'all paint y'all nails and wear dresses sometimes. Oh, How oh, do you want to be a street oh, man? Oh, shit. Clearly, he's talking about long, right? <laughs> Nigga, like, he talking about them. They're all open. Y'all remember me like me? Like, I'm actually the nigga used to come around, bring my real friends from the hood and scare y'all. I'm actually the nigga from, you know, like, mm. I'm the one. Like, I want to keep PG. I want to see a performing at the Fillmore. <laughs> I don't want to be banned from like that because of, like, especially over the girls, like. Like, nah, he talking for real. You know, crazy. He said, I don't want no females. Please, please, like, say, <clears throat> I don't want to beef over a girl, especially over people. Hey, shorty gang. On my life, who was that future? How do I tell you? How do I tell you, Lucky? This nigga finna beef with you over a bitch, nigga. That's tough. That shit gotta be the worst shit to beef over, nigga. A fucking a bitch. Why are we beefing over hoes, nigga? It's like fucking three billion hoes on the planet, nigga. You rich? Go get another one. Damn. Don't expose that. Nah, he's saying too much. He's saying too much. Stop, talented. Stop. <laughs> but that wasn't it. Dude, he funny as shit. He told me he's saying too much. You see, he's saying too much to it. He's saying too much to it. <laughs> Lucky went back live to say this. Bro. Like, putting sh I mean, everything I said, I meant it. But I'm seeing people just say the negative more. You know what I'm saying? Everything I said, I meant it 100%. When I said, when I said sizzle and 50, please tell little bro he's not ready for that. Everything I said was 100% mm. for real. But... What I'm meaning to say is underground rappers, especially like underground rappers have a strong fan bases, amazing strong fan bases, especially underground rappers True. that are signed to the biggest engine in the, in the game. The biggest engine also on top of the biggest rapper in the game, one of the biggest rappers. Oh. Y'all have amazing fan bases. You don't have to diss people to drop an album. You don't have to do that. 
You You're talking about loans. Amazing fan base. Literally, you don't have to diss nobody to drop it. But I swear to God, you don't gotta do that. Maybe you've been Hank trying to. I ain't gonna lie, he don't, but he doesn't have that much hype right now. So I mean, it makes sense. Probably doing it. You know what I'm saying? I be like, we all get this. We all black. So. But Lucky King act like he didn't send a little bit of shots the first time. You remember the song called Outro, right? He said a few things. Now we don't know exactly if he was just dissing Long, but it's just like, hey, it adds up though. So we all got a lot of white fans. So we all go through this when you get to a certain age. You want black. Shit. You want your own actual people to listen to you. Like, you feel it, like, you got the king of the white kids, but you actually want your own people to enjoy your music. So we actually do go through that. We start trying to do shit the mainstream rappers do. But we mm. got it better than them. Mm. You don't have to do stuff like that. Mm. That is strange. I'm not that I think about it, nigga. Why do like mostly like white people like listen to like I ain't gonna say mostly white people listen to underground. Mostly white people do listen to Lucky though, and that's like weird to me, like nigga. It's just like you wouldn't expect like white people to just gravitate towards this nigga music. That's I true. Swear to God, that's all I'm saying. On some positive, the most wrong, positive bro. way possible. None of us gotta do that. You don't gotta beat like I swear to God, gang. But I'ma just let y'all guess before I say it. Guess who jumped in and didn't have anything to do with this? You already know. It was Can Can, okay? Can Can <laughs> decided to jump in. I don't know why he did it. Matter of fact, I know why, because you know, Can Can and Lucky are close. You feel me? So it's not that surprising. Can is a but fucking there was a few troll circling around, but we're gonna start straight from the beginning. So let's Can go ahead. Is a but the first person troll, to take it to Twitter bro. was Lone, which was very surprising. He said, Boy, you ain't never seen me in no dress, and you damn sure ain't never scared. Me. Lucky responded, he said, we're rappers. We're not supposed to scare anyone. That's exactly my point, kiddo. And then Lonely responded, he said, laugh out loud. That boy Zion had responded, he said, <laughs> kind of own you. <laughs> this is the part where Ken Ken had jumped in. He said, if that boss say him, he won't even have a fan base tomorrow. The difference between me and you is you an employee. Then he called that nigga an employee gang. That is insane. <laughs> he called that nigga a f employee yo <laughs> I ain't gonna lie that shit would piss me off nigga and lonely had responded surprisingly again you've been sending me beats since I was 13 years old you love me before you gonna love me after then can can responded with a laughing emoji Lone said don't, don't laugh, laugh nigga you, you a hoe can can, can responded he said stop dissing and let that weep Fly. So during this moment, it started getting hot because you had the lone fans and the lucky fans going at each other. Then the Can Can fans had joined in and they started showing screenshots of Lone having a lot of inspiration from Lucky. And he tweeted out some stuff a long time ago. When Nigga, bro, um, my homie, every time we talk about fucking music and he bring up Destroy Lonely, he always tells me that like old Destroy Lonely, like old, old used to rap just like Lucky apparently. When he was a kid saying he look up to Lucky and all types of stuff Lone decided to reply to everybody saying that and I ain't too cool to say I like your music but all that you gonna hurt just to say we rappers is crazy stand on business so Lone is signifying bro like I don't want to hear we rappers god damn that nigga Lucky ratio his ass every tweet <laughs> Lucky then responded he said laugh at my so off shorty you still trying to win over twitter like i said privately in our dm either we could link or we could arrange our peoples to meet up or we could just stop talking to each other you ain't responded to me since i suggested that but you still trying to win over the people so apparently lucky didn't already told loan in the dms we can meet up get this situated but you doing all this talking online scratch that but supposedly loan never responded and then you had can can making tons of tweets again so we can go ahead <laughs> and look at these real quick but can can said all i'm saying is that we getting real money on we don't do none of that getting mix to be successful and sell music be yourself kids i'm done for real for real okay mm. i'm done trolling these cross dressers <laughs> and with his last tweet he said i'm addressing all you rap as control then gas baby responded he said where was all this energy at ken carson <laughs> so yeah. at this point you really just got a whole e fight going on between lucky can can for some reason <clears throat> and then long and of course i don't really think anything is going to happen for real they both successful rappers they're doing well there's no reason to get anything going you feel me i'm sure they're going to go their separate ways they're doing all of this for just the e female i don't know why they're doing this for a female just you know what i'm saying lucky feels like long is just doing this for pro yeah just it a bitch a at the end of the day that, that snippet just it's surface right now you know what i'm saying y'all let me know how y'all feel about this whole scenario between lucky can can and long do y'all feel like anything is actually gonna happen <sighs> all this shit over hoes mm -mm -mm. when will niggas ever learn <laughs>